So they move their less likely to practice safe sex. So they go undiagnosed and untreated due to perceptions that they're not at high risk for HIV infection. And as age increases, so does the incidence of mortality. About 37% of individuals 80 years and older have been reported to die within a month of diagnosis. Our HIV research project. At Beth Israel Medical Center, all patients, including the elderly, were screened. We give questionnaires to ID clinic visits that screen for IV drug abuse, ethanol use, tobacco consumption, and unsafe sex practices. While many elderly patients admitted that they were not aware that they were still capable of contracting HIV. And um, a number of elderly patients said that they've been smoking for a very long time but expressed interest in quitting smoking. Our patient interventions involve on patients with excessive ethanol and tobacco use were directed to addiction centers. Also, patients engaging in unsafe sexual behavior were educated furthermore about safe sex practices. And for those with HIV, treatment does exist. There are antiretroviral drugs that block the activity of one of the enzymes HIV needs to replicate inside human cells. One of them is transverse transcriptase reverse transcriptase inhibitors that prevent HIV reverse transcriptase from converting HIV RNA to DNA. There are also protease inhibitors that prevent protease from activating certain proteins inside newly produced viruses. The result is immature cells that do not infect new cells. There are fusion inhibitors that prevent HIV from entering cells and integrase inhibitors that prevent HIV DNA from being converted into human DNA. What we learned from our research project. So um, we learned that healthcare providers should remember that elderly patients are at risk for HIV. And our research on HIV and AIDS in the elderly should be given more attention. The impact of HIV and AIDS through the elderly population on the healthcare system needs to be studied more extensively. What we as healthcare providers can do for our patients. We as healthcare providers can diagnose and manage elderly patients with HIV. Um, remove the misconception that the elderly cannot contract HIV since they are believed to not be sexually active. And we can console, counsel the patients on prevention, such as teaching about abstinence, monogamous relationships, protective sex, use of sterile needles, and further awareness. And those were our educational tools in the middle of that CRE by the partner. And we passed them around our educational tools, which include, you know, um, female condoms, male condoms, and um, other forms of protection. All these are our references. And we'd like to acknowledge Dr. Staff, the HCS staff, Dr. Marley Kwong, and our co-mentor, Shirley Gomez.